morning everybody and happy Monday. Welcome back to another episode of Chelsea in the City. I'm about to head off for uni but before I do that I really want to map out my day today by making a to-do list. So let's start with that. So to stay organized this week I really want to start making daily to-do lists. That way it keeps myself accountable for everything. So I'm going to start with a blank page in my notebook and just write down Monday at the top. And I'm going to write down my three top priorities for today. So number one is to upload my episode four of Chelsea in the City. Next. Next is to catch up on this week's readings for classes. So read all my assigned readings. And the third priority is, I feel like I have so many assignments at uni, but I feel like I just need to focus on one at a time. So I think this week, if I focus on my advanced nonfiction feature article, and specifically it's to contact three people for interviews for my story. Okay, so I've written down my three priorities now. Now I need to kind of map out other things that I need to remember to do today. So what do I have to do? I have to buy hot chocolate mix. Can't forget that. I need to reply to Frenchie emails. And I think that's it. So I think that is kind of an overview of what I have planned for today. I used to just write down all of my to-dos, but sometimes that can be really overwhelming. So I think if you narrow it down to three priorities for the day, if you can get them done, you just feel so much more, I guess, accomplished. So that's my goal for today. I'll keep you posted with how it all goes. I've just put my pajamas on. I've got my Winnie the Pooh onesie from Peter Alexander. And I've also just made a herbal tea. This is the Pucker after dinner tea. So I'm just sipping on this now. And it was a good day today. It was quite a big day, but it was really fun. I caught up with my friend Bella on campus at the MSD, which was lovely. And then for my photojournalism subject, we went on a field trip to Ligon Street. So my friends and I thought, why not make the most of this and grab dinner afterwards? So we went to the fish and chip place next to Brunetti and it was so good. The food is so yummy there. I love their sweet potato chips. So yeah, I'm back home and I'm just going to chill out now. It's all about balance. If you have a big day, you need to really take some time out at the end of the day just to relax, to breathe and to unwind. That's how I like to do things anyway. So that's my plan for this evening. In terms of the to-do list that I wrote this morning, I didn't complete everything on my to-do list. And while it's really easy to be hard on yourself and to think, you know, I didn't get much done, you have to look at what you have gotten done. And, you know, I did a lot of things today and I did tick a few things off the to-do list. I just didn't do as much as I would have liked to but there's always tomorrow and I'm going to head to the library early tomorrow and just get as much done as possible. It's more the reading that I find is quite time consuming because 
if you really want to absorb what you're reading, you need to take your time. So there's only so much you can read in a given amount of time. And that's why I feel a little bit like, I guess, overwhelmed. I feel like I have so much to read, but it's all good. As I said, tomorrow morning, I will tackle that. So I've got this pile of things to read here. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> It's all good. Anyway, I thought I would just check in with you guys now. I'm going to unwind, probably watch a TV show because bad news, I've finished Downton Abbey. I honestly don't know what to watch now. I'm thinking either The Royals, which is on Stan, or Broadchurch, which is on Netflix. And so many people have recommended Broadchurch. Let me know what you think. I need your TV show recommendations. Honestly, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what is good to watch. I feel like I've watched everything on Netflix and even YouTube and Stan. So the Royals is sounding quite good and so is Broadchurch. Although I don't know, Broadchurch seems quite heavier. So I think the Royals might just be one of those shows that's really easy to watch after a big day at uni. I don't know, let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm going to finish this tea now, so I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. So I thought I'd update you guys. It's currently 9.20, so I've been at my desk replying to comments on YouTube and Instagram. I've also posted an Instagram photo, so I'll leave my Instagram link down below. It's just so amazing how we can all connect online and have some great conversations too. So a big thank you to each and every one of you who has left a comment. I love hearing from you guys and I endeavor to reply to each and every one of you. So a big thank you. And yes, now I'm ready to go and make a hot chocolate and watch some TV to unwind before a big day tomorrow. Were you scared? Describe the moment you knew your flight was in peril. Did you think you were going to die? Watching the Royals. Got my hot chocolate over there. Good night, everyone. I'll check back in with you in the morning and I'll see you bright and early. Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. I had a really good night's sleep last night. I'm feeling quite rejuvenated this morning, and the fact that it's a beautiful day outside is definitely helping. Apparently, it's 23 degrees out there, so this is the warmest weather we've had in Melbourne for a long time. I can't wait to step outside, but before I do, I want to show you my OOTD because I've gone for something very fun and playful today. So for today's OOTD, I'm wearing this Topshop pink stripy top with my Topshop overalls or dungarees and my Gucci sneakers. So this is today's look. What do you think? It's 10.30, I'm running ahead of schedule, which is great. And I'm heading off for Melbourne University, so I'll see you on campus. If you are new here, I'm a Master of Journalism student at the University of Melbourne. I'm in my second semester of my first year, and there's a little fun fact for you all. So I'm just heading into the city now to grab a coffee, and my phone has decided to stop working, so I also need to go and get that fixed. because I don't want it to spill. <gasps> so pretty! Oh my wow. god, it matches my dress. Yay. It does, perfectly. I love your dress. Oh, taste fine. test. We need a taste test. Oh, that's actually so nice. I think it's chai, but I don't know. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> So for tonight's tea of choice, I've got the Paka Relax Tea, which is a deeply soothing fusion of organic chamomile, fennel, and marshmallow root. So that's what I'm having now. It's currently nine o'clock and today was a big day, another big day. I've just had a shower, washed my hair, and I'm just about to make some tea and get stuck into some editing for my 
weekend vlog which will be up on Thursday so this is last week for you guys so I would have posted it by now and I'll leave the link down below if you're interested so I'm going to make myself one of these so I've got my tea it smells beautiful very very soothing I love the smell of chamomile and basically I want to get some editing done and then I'm just going to relax I think it's too late now to get stuck into my homework I don't want to wake myself up too much I want to kind of relax now and get ready for bed and then tomorrow I'll wake up quite early and get stuck into my work early on because today I actually had a little issue with my phone so I had to get it fixed this morning and that took a lot of time out of my day but it's all good it was a really good day I caught up with Olympia which was so nice I love our coffee catch-ups and it was just such a nice day today even the weather was just beautiful so I'm very lucky to have had a good day and I'm just so tired now <laughs> So I just finished editing my weekend vlog from the Saturday when I went to Brighton with mum and then on Sunday we went to Hosea Lane so it was good to edit through that footage because they were both really fun days. Now I'm about to make a hot chocolate and honestly just unwind because it's 10pm. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I have a lot to do in terms of studying so I want to wake up just as early as possible and head to uni straight away sit at the library all day and get as much done as I can that's the plan I'll let you know how it goes so I think yes I'll wrap things up have a hot chocolate and no more study no more editing or YouTube stuff I just need some time to relax because that is so important I guess Whatever you do in life, make sure you have some time for yourself and some time out. You need to really make sure you balance everything out. It's the best way to just stay healthy, both physically and mentally. So that's my little tip for today. And it's really whatever works for you. I find that I really enjoy just watching some Netflix because I walk during the day. So that's my time to think and to relax. I really do enjoy walking. I find it's just such a great way to de-stress. But when I'm at home, I definitely enjoy watching some Netflix and just forgetting about my studies and not worrying about everything that I have to do. Just remember there's always tomorrow and you can always get those things done the next day. So that's how I'm trying to think of things at the moment I'm trying to really not stress out as much about uni work and to focus on just unwinding at the end of the day before I go to bed so that I can have a thorough sleep and so that I'm just a bit more relaxed how do you relax I'd love to know if you leave a comment down below let me know what your favorite way to de-stress at the end of the day is are you an exercise kind of person who loves a good work out to just get rid of all of that stress or do you prefer to watch some Netflix, have a bath, meditate, do some yoga. Actually that's one thing I really want to do is yoga. I still need to do a yin yoga class so that's that was one of my goals for 2018 was to try yoga. I still haven't done it yet so I think it's time I need to book in. Maybe during my mid-semester break I'll do that. Good morning everyone and happy Wednesday. Can you believe it's already the middle of the week because I can't. I had the best sleep last night so I'm feeling really good this morning and I've just opened a new delivery that I received yesterday and it's actually the jumper that I'm wearing right now. So on Saturday I ordered this at the Victoria and Woods Emporium store because they didn't have my size in stock so they ordered it in and they sent it to me 
with a lovely letter I might add so it says hi Chelsea we hope you love your new Stockholm knit an all-time favorite for us please feel free to contact us V and W Sorrento XX love heart I thought that was worth mentioning because they clearly have great customer service even in the online space so thank you Victoria and Woods that was a lovely thing to open this morning and now I want to show you my OOTD complete with my new knit jumper so let's go have a look. So for today's OOTD or outfit of the day I'm wearing my new Victoria and Woods merino wool jumper which is in a beautiful cream kind of colour. It's just so warm but it's also quite light so it's perfect for this in between weather when it's spring but there is still a little bit of freshness in the air and then I've got my Zara leggings and my Stuart Wiseman knee high boots which I thought I would just wear now because soon it's going to be too warm to wear them so I need to make the most of them now. So I've also just grabbed one of these from my stash in the kitchen. This is the Collagen Beauty Ball from Health Lab and it's in the Chalk and Sea Salt flavour which is delicious. This is probably my favourite flavour to be honest. I love them all but this is just so good. And it also promotes your hair, skin and nail health which is just exactly what I need right now at this point of semester. Anything that's going to nourish me from within I need in my life. So I just got a coffee from Tulip Coffee. I'm now at the tram stop heading to uni. It's currently 11.15 a.m. so I've got plenty of time and my class got cancelled today so I don't have class this afternoon which is a bonus because it gives me more time to study. getting cancelled today so I used that time to catch up on all of my reading and I can safely say that it's all done which is so good I feel so productive and just so on top of things now I'm glad it's all out of the way on my way home I stopped by the David Jones food hall and I got this stir fry mix to make for dinner so I thought I'd show you guys a little time lapse of me cooking this is the zucchini and baby broccoli stir fry and inside we've got white cabbage zucchini baby broccoli silver beet carrot capsicum and red cabbage so a whole lot of goodness inside it says that it serves two but i tend to just eat these whole things myself just because Loading up on vegetables is so good, especially when it's just so fresh and a really good combination of veggies. So I'm going to cook this up. I've got some rice as well. I'll make some rice with it. And I think that's going to be a really good dinner, which is much needed after a big day today. So let's put this on a time lapse. I'm going to put some TV on my laptop, I guess. I might watch the Royals on stand, so I think I'll log in and I'll do that and then I'll get cooking. You got me So 
So I've just finished cooking everything. I've put the rice in first and now it's time to add the stir fry to the mix. This stir fry is so colorful. It's quite amazing and it just tastes beautiful. I had a little quick taste before. So now I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper, just some pink Himalayan salt and some whole black peppercorn. This looks so good. It's so colorful. I can't believe it. I haven't had red cabbage in so long and I forgot just how colorful it makes the dishes look. So I can't wait to dig in. So here's what the dish looks like up close and personal. It's so fragrant and so colorful as well. I can't wait to dig in. And it's nice knowing that there are seven types of vegetables in this dish. It's perfect because it's pre-packaged. If you do live by yourself, it can be quite hard to portion out your meals because you don't wanna to buy too many vegetables and then have them sitting in the fridge and go to waste. So that's why I find these David Jones stir fry mixes just perfect because it's got everything you need and you don't have to worry about wasting anything. So that's why I love these dishes so much. It's time for the taste test now. I'm going to mix it all in with the rice as well. I've got the rice on the bottom. And to be honest, it's really easy to make these kinds of things. Okay, I'm making a bit of a mess. Okay, taste test. Mmm. That is so good. You could even add some soy sauce or tamari. I'm not going to, but I did add in some salt and pepper, but it's really beautiful. So, so nourishing. This is just so healthy, but still so satisfying. It's also very filling in the sense that you've got the veggies with the rice. So it does make up quite a substantial meal. I always leave a little bit extra over on the stove and I'll top up after this because you really can afford to have seconds when you're eating veggies and rice. I like to anyway, so cheers to that. And for tonight's drink, I'm having a lemon, lime and mint kombucha because this stuff is so refreshing. And now that the weather's warming up, it's just so good to have with your meals. Cheers. Yeah. This dinner is well and truly amazing. The cabbage adds this beautiful buttery texture. It's amazing. The more I have these stir fry mixes, the more I love cabbage. And growing up, I hated it, so. It's amazing how your taste buds can change. This is just beautiful. Highly recommend. I'm going to leave this bit here, finish off my dinner, and I'll check back in with you guys before bed. So it's usually at this time on a Wednesday night that I call home and we do a little FaceTime because my nonna, my grandmother, my Italian grandmother, will be at my house. So it's always good to do a little FaceTime chat because she still can't believe that we can even FaceTime, which is really cute. And it's just a good way to catch up. So let's see if we can FaceTime them. Let's give it a go. Hopefully they answer, but soon see. Video. Perfect. Let's give it a go. How's everything all right? Yeah, good. How are you going? Yeah, good. Good? Just finished good. everything. Just about to sit down and eat some ice cream. 
So I just FaceTimed my mum and my nonna, my Italian grandmother, and now I'm heading off to have a shower and then I'm going to bed because I'm super tired and it's been a big day. I did a lot of study today, which I'm very proud of, but it has left me feeling quite tired as expected. But it's been a really good day. I'm happy with how productive I've been today and also filming. I can't believe this, but it's only Wednesday and I've already maxed out my SD card. So I think I've filmed a lot more this week. We'll see how long the episode ends up being, but I do think it might be a lot bigger than 20 minutes. So we'll soon see. So I'm heading off to bed now, guys. I'll check back in with you in the morning and I'll speak to you then. Good night. Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday. I'm just about to head out to grab a coffee from Sensory Lab on Little Collins Street with my friend Amanda, who I haven't seen in a while. So I'm really looking forward to it and I'll bring you along with me. So I'm just walking under the underpass to Sensory Lab. Nearly there, so not too long now. I just had dinner at Brunetti. It's around 6 p.m. now and we're heading off to David Jones for an event there held by Stephanie. I'll leave her link down below. Thank you so much, Steph, for having us. We're really looking forward to the event and I'll bring you guys along with us. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. You, have a good day? you too. So I just stopped in at Godiva at the Emporium to buy Steph a little gift. I got her some chocolates because she just has invited us to so many amazing events. So that's just one way to say thank you. And who doesn't love Godiva chocolates? They have so many amazing things in there and the staff are so lovely. So a big shout out to them for letting me film in store. So for tonight's OOTN, I'm wearing this Marge white blouse, which has these cute little bees on it. And then I've got my Forever New maroon skirt with stockings and my Stuart Weisman ankle boots. Then my handbag is from Chanel and I've got Stephanie's Hediva present here with me. So this is a great accessory too. That is tonight's outfit. It's very city chic, so I hope you like it. To do it so that the back goes way higher than the front, so you're never going to get them dipping down. It also has a very slight little um, arch that goes there, very, very slight. You can't even see it to the eye, but when you have it on the body, it sits in the nape of your back and doesn't budge. Those beautiful things that you reach for when you just want to wear something, you know, you're going to work and you know you're going to drinks after work and that's the perfect thing. I like this pink because it's almost nude. It's not too candy. So I'm here with Stephanie. We're at the styling suite at David Jones. Hello everyone. How are you? Good. How are you going? I'm good. So what have we been up to tonight? So tonight we've had a denim event with um, Tammy from International Fashion Group. So Tammy's going to talk shortly. And we've gone through the latest trends in AG Denim and Page. Beautiful. It's been such a good night. Very insightful. Thank you. I've learned a lot about denim. Yes. And it's just a key piece that everyone needs in their wardrobe. 
wardrobe. You can and mix it up and match it, dress yeah. it up you or down. I'll show you what I'm wearing now. Wearing I've got the bottom leggings style on. And they're really comfortable and I can definitely dress them up. They look amazing. They're so good. And they're AG. Yes, AG. That's yep. right. They would look good on you too. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> So we've just finished up at the AG Page Denim event and we're heading back home. We've got our goodie bag there and it was just a really good night. It was so interesting. We learned so much about denim and the ladies were just so lovely. So thanks again to Steph for having us and to David Jones. We look forward to going back and trying on some new jeans. I've got my eye on this navy pair of velvet jeans from Paige and also maybe some white jeans from AG. So stay tuned. Happy Friday everyone. It's around 6.30 p.m. I'm just about to head out for a 21st birthday. Happy birthday Daniel if you're watching this. So this morning I started my day off with a workout at the movement studio. It was quite challenging today but it was so worthwhile. I have so much energy now which is exactly why I love training. It just gives you so much energy. As Kerry says the more energy you give the more you get back and it's so true. So that was really good and and then I got my hair done at Mason Samiki at the Emporium and then I spent the rest of my day studying. It was quite productive. So I'm looking forward to a little break now and heading out for a birthday party. I'll bring you guys along with me and then I'll check back in with you after the party. So for tonight's OOTN or outfit of the night, I've got this Zara polka dot blouse, which is a lot of fun. I love this print. It's so playful and something a bit different. I've then got my J brand shiny jeans and my YSL tribute pumps, which are super high, but actually quite comfortable to wear. So they're great for walking around or if you know you're going to be on your feet all night. And for tonight's handbag, I've got my daily edited bag here, which just goes with everything. It's perfect and it's got my initials on it and I'm basically all ready to go. So let's hit the road and I'll see you at the 21st. I feel we're close enough. I wanna lock in your love. I think we're close It's 12 a.m. now, I'm back home, I'm ready for bed, but before I go to bed, I thought I'd check in with you all and let you know how the 21st went. It was a lot of fun, it was really good to catch up with everyone and see some people that I haven't seen in a long time and have a good laugh. So I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit just because I've been chatting the night away. So anyway, I'm going to leave the video here. A big thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. I'd love to have you a part of the community. There's plenty of room for everyone. So click subscribe and I'll see you in a brand new episode of Chelsea in the City this time next week. Thank you so much again and I'll see you soon. Bye!